Elizabeth Arden cream. This one's wife. Here comes another fuck up. Hello, I'm HG Tudor. <laughs> What's that smell? Can you smell it? Hmm? Is it opportunity? Is it success? Is it the smell of victory? No. It's the scent of failure. The odour of fuck up. Yes. There's another fuck up on the horizon for the Sussexes. As we know, Nigeria beckons. After all, this one's wife is purportedly going to find out about her 43% Nigerian-ness. They've been invited, but it's not going down very well, which once again demonstrates the unpopularity of this one's wife and the way that she is always focused on the now without looking at the wider picture. She once again demonstrates her inability to read the room, which is occasioned by her absence of emotional empathy, her malfunctioning cognitive empathy, and the fact that her narcissism focuses on what's right in front of her in the here and now. Ordinarily, this one's wife wouldn't bother with Nigeria, but she needs to continue to try and build her profile. And, given that the event would be a freebie, in that they are being paid to attend, and that they'll have their, cover pay their travel paid for, and that they'll have their security costs paid for, this one's wife, once again hijacking Invictus, an event which is nothing to do with her, decides, actually, I will bother with Africa for once. Thus, as Jamie Roberts in the Mirror reports, Prince Harry and this one's wife are set to visit Nigeria later this month, but have been told to address their issues with security as the vast numbers of people in the country are in poverty. The couple will be heading to the African country for the first time as a couple after being invited by the West African nation's highest-ranking military official. Due to the invite by the Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Gwabin Musar, it said that the Sussexes will receive the type of security they expected in the United Kingdom before Harry lost his appeal. Residual benefit. However, the cost of their African security is set to be paid for by the government of Nigeria. Such a bill comes as the country continues to deal with mass poverty, with an estimated 87 million people in the nation living below the poverty line. The couple will visit the African country to take part in talks about the Invictus Games. Can't you use Zoom for that? And participate in cultural activities. Harry and this one's wife will also be meeting with service members and their families. Of course, as we all know, it's going to be a trip all about this one's wife as she attempts to show off her fashion, that she looks down the lens of the relevant cameras that are pointed her way, and she once again hijacks Invictus for her own purposes. Their visit also comes after Harry faced pressure to review his role on the board of conservation charity African Parks, following a number of allegations directed towards the charity. Last month, the current and former staff at the charity shared their own experience of what happens behind the scenes at the conservation some claimed armed rangers used torture methods to extract information from poachers. And we've heard in parts passing from the investigation that arose from author and journalist Olivia Van Beenham, who spoke to a variety of sources with regard to the flawed behaviours, if one can put it that rather mildly, in relation to African parks. But here we have this one's wife and the Prince of Pink Pancakes Heading off to Nigeria, a country which has got massive problems with poverty and once again showing the lack of emotional empathy, the sense of entitlement and lack of accountability 
that this one's wife expects her security and travel costs to be paid, despite the fact that 87 million people are in poverty. So much for compassion. But it goes further than that. What do the Nigerian people think about them? Well, there's an individual from Nigeria who has shared their views on the Saint This One's Wife subreddit. They use her full name, as you know, I do not. The individual goes by the posting name of Curled Chemical 5151 that provides us with some further insight with regard to the fuck-up that awaits. The individual starts by stating, I will start off by saying 99% of Nigerians don't know who Harry's wife and this one uh, and this one are. 60% of the remaining 1% who know of them have only heard of them in passing and are indifferent. 25% of them see through their bullshit and the remaining 15% have positive views of them. Not sure where those figures come from, anecdotal most likely, but it's written by somebody in Nigeria, so they have a degree of validity as to what the views are in relation to this one's wife and Prince Harry. Cold Chemical states, it's important to note that the huge majority don't know who they are. They state, our country is in a horrible mess right now because of the leaders we currently have. The cost of living has skyrocketed. Fuel prices have gone through the roof. Businesses have shut down because they can't keep up with the cost of doing business. Every day we hear of people getting kidnapped because of poverty. I could go on and on, but the point is that Nigerians have much bigger problems to worry about than Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Faith in our leaders is at an all-time low that when we saw the news on Twitter, the knee-jerk reaction from most Nigerians was that this was going to be an avenue to steal money from the national coffers to host them. P.S. We're broke too and knee-deep in debt to spend so much money because security is obviously going to be guaranteed for the Prince of the UK, you know, with Nigeria being a Commonwealth country. Our minimum wage has been less than $30 per month for more than a decade, and the excuse for not raising it is because we're too broke. I'm sure an average Nigerian will be pissed off to discover we're about to spend a lot of money hosting ex-royals. This is just the observation of one Nigerian to the prospective visit. But on Twitter, comments were as such. Carissa Blue 3 wrote, Ministry of Defence, take care of your soldiers and police force. Hypocrites. Pay them their proper dues and stop with the virtue signalling. Invictus will never be held in Nigeria. These two are using you. Blaze Bond respond to irrelevant royal rejects. The observation provided there. The comrade states, tell the prince to stay in his country. We don't have the money to spend in hosting you. Another comments. The... Xbox racist soldier Harry bringing his Lady of the Night to exploit poor Africans for a photo opportunity in an attempt to save their failed reputation. Just JJ writes, What's the bet that Nigeria is going to be spending a fortune on two spoilt, entitled, middle-aged brats? Somebody else states it shouldn't be allowed. Why is that? Are we still under colonial master? That's pathetic. It's weird, writes Mia, that she, this one's wife, spent her life describing herself as Caucasian on her bios and marrying white men, only employing white people at Archwell, and now when it's convenient, she's 43% Nigerian. I'd feel a bit used if I was a person of colour. She's changed her story a couple of times. Some of the observations from those posting who aren't Nigerian on and in relation to the news that this one's wife and Harry are coming to Nigeria. It's not exactly an outpouring of joy. Clearly, they're not going to be dancing in the streets as apparently the South Africans did <laughs> when news reached them that this one's wife was getting married and they took to the streets as they did when Nelson Mandela was being freed, another of the porky pies and exaggerated revisions of history that this one's wife has engaged in. A real fuck-up awaits... Nigeria can't afford them. Many Nigerians don't know who they are. Many Nigerians are not interested in them. Those that have commented, as I've just read out to you, clearly don't want them there. And yet, they persist in attending. Why? 
because it's an opportunity once again to make it all about this one's wife. Her narcissism compels her to appear so that she can talk about it, that she can be photographed, that they can create footage for Netflix, i.e. it serves her purposes. It doesn't matter that this is a country that can ill afford such expenditure on their security. It doesn't matter that there are so many millions of people who are in poverty. She's not interested in any of that. It's all about ensuring that she's seen and she looks good. All that will happen is that she will turn up, she will annoy a lot of people, and she will face huge amounts of adverse press publicity as a consequence of this short-sighted behaviour. Undoubtedly, there will be those that have advised her, don't do it, but she won't listen because she always knows best. And, in essence, you can settle back and ready yourself for the fuck-up that is to come, because it will, and of course your glorious narrator will be on hand to dissect it vis-a-vis -vis her narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>